Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'd like to give everybody an update on the house. So, delicious coffee in the morning. This is where we're at. Everything's in Tyvex, sealed up tight. Looks a lot better. Got a new beam on our front porch, if anybody remembers. Up here across the front was all rotted and then uh, here in uh, the previous video in the middle of winter, it was like zero degrees outside, came in with the tractor and set a big ass beam in there to hold it in place. But uh, it looks so much better. Got everything cleaned up up here. So everything's sealed tight. It seems they're all taped. Blow foam under the doors. And we already can tell there's a huge difference in our uh, air conditioning system kicking on. And everything running a lot different so we're happy about that but uh it's like i don't know 6 30 in the morning right now so gotta get that coffee in me but today we're gonna pressure wash this patio off get it all cleaned up get all this paint that's loose on there from however long it's been there across the front and everything we're going to uh paint it with uh some dry lock masonry paint stuff is a water proofer it's a little more expensive than uh, your standard paint but it's only like three or four bucks more and uh, it should hold up for the rest of the time I own this house so uh, we're gonna get that painted we also got some of the parts in for our siding See if I can get this on the, uh, it's gonna be that gray, light gray. Hold up next to the light. So that'll be nice. But uh, we have all the panels for like the lights and stuff. All the uh, outlet boxes for outside. We have all the J channel and all the corners and all the soffit and for vinyl, uh, uh, coil stock and everything for around the windows and everything the only thing is thanks to uh, this pandemic and disasters down in Texas we uh, are enjoying the 2021 shortages that just happened to random things for whatever reason so uh, when it comes to the panels in that gray um, it's been this is four weeks we since we've ordered and uh, should be another two to uh, four weeks before it comes in. So hopefully uh, that's not the case and we can get it in sooner. But uh, it might be a while where we just sit back and uh, enjoy our nice shiny foam boarded house. And that might grow on me. Oh, we're gonna put, we have new window ordered for there. New window ordered for there. We were gonna put a French door in here, but uh, there's no return on investment on a French door. French doors are literally a huge expense. That would have been about $3,000. Uh, door was about $1,700. And then by the time you rip that all out, frame it all in with the cost of everything today and me paying someone to do it because um, I just don't have the time, it would uh, have been extremely expensive. And I just didn't feel like paying it to uh, never get that money back out because it's literally just a luxury for us. And you have to weigh out the return on investment. Vinyl siding is 100% return on investment. Uh, so why wouldn't you do that? No matter when I sell this house, it'll be a return on investment. So we're gonna probably later on today get to pressure washing uh, and go from there rambling on at the moment but yep I don't know what to say so talk to you later. all right so started painting already around the bases got this much done using the uh, dry lock waterproof or has like a grit to it but uh, 
this is how far we are along so far and i'll just do a video from now on because i forgot to grab the camera So what I think happened with my last can, what I kept trying to pick out, is like, it didn't seal very well. So like it has this weird shit on top of it. I'm hoping, yeah. Is. Get that off of there so it doesn't get the rest of the paint. But, I think this stuff was sitting on the shelf for a while because that that shouldn't happen it's real gritty stuff like it almost has like sand in it so it'll give a, a good grippy base man is it thick though Whew.
All right, here's the final product. Looks so much better than it did. Ran out of paint, obviously, because that stuff looks like hell. But it is done and dry. Almost has like a gritty texture to it, so you won't slip. I walked on here already. So it'll seem like it's gonna be nice stuff. So we'll see how it goes with the siding and everything else. But uh pretty happy with it. Goes on good. And uh we'll keep you in the loop so we put the railings on and then siding how everything ties together looks nice and then time for landscaping and dig all that up so hope you enjoy the video subscribe comment when you if you think i did anything wrong or if you liked it and uh we'll see you on the other side